One of the city's biggest shopping events, the Hong Kong Brands and Products Expo, opened at Victoria Park today. Chief Executive John Lee officiated at the opening ceremony and spent over $2,700 shopping there. Timothy Lee reports. Yay! Yeah! After attending the opening ceremony of the Hong Kong Brands and Products Expo this morning, John Lee began a shopping spree as he visited a dried seafood booth and purchased some dried mushrooms. Lee then went to a snack shop for biscuits and other snacks. He also stopped by a social enterprise supported by the Social Welfare Department to buy some artificial flowers and said, I love you in sign language. <laughs> Open to the public at 11 a.m. today, the expo will run for 24 days until January at Victoria Park. Featuring more than 860 booths with a special zone showcasing classic toys in Hong Kong this year, the organizers said the scale of the expo demonstrated that the city is on the path to normalcy. We have uh, more than 400 exhibitors with uh, over 800 booths. And uh, we expect that the uh, traffic will be around uh, 1 million visitors, uh, which is also comparable to that uh, before the pandemic. The expo features products ranging from food and beverages, groceries to beauty and healthcare products. An organic food seller who has opened a stall in the expo for over 20 years said COVID restrictions are still having an impact, but this year's business outlook is promising. Yeah, because before the pandemic, the customer can try our product. Uh, now the pandemic, then we don't have the uh, uh, tasting, so the uh, customer are not willing to buy more. We expect more than last year because of the consumption voucher. The people are more willing to buy the uh, healthy product because they can use the consumption voucher to buy. This year is also the 88th anniversary of the Chinese Manufacturers Association. Residents who are 88 years old or whose ID number has two consecutive eight digits or who are born on August 8th could register online to join a lucky draw for prizes worth $3 million in total. Timothy Lee, TVB News.